Hi there, my, and welcome to the Wireless Flag Selection Panel. I'm Dan Taipo. I'm David Bell. And I'm Lucy Z. On May 5th, the New Zealand public were invited to submit their own flag designs to a government website as part of the upcoming referendum process. At the time of recording, over 800 designs have been put forward by Kiwis. We've picked some of the good ones and some of the not-so-good ones to discuss here. Let's start with the submissions from kids. I was initially quite excited by the kids. Like, they don't realise this is kind of silly and embarrassing, so... I mean, it's sincere. There's nothing mm, sincere, pretentious yeah, about this. That's the yeah. word I'm looking for. I mean, what's more sincere than a sheet with ice cream? What I initially thought about that is exactly what the description was as well. It's a sheep and hokey pokey, and these are both things that I like. Ooh, this is cute. Very Christian. It's very clean. I like it. Yeah. It's difficult to tell if these are by children or by adults. Mm. I don't want to make fun of an adult when it's actually a child, or a child when it's actually an adult. I don't want to step on any toes here. Since the gallery's on the internet, we got a lot of internet-style submissions. This is real, like, um, 2004 throwback when 4chan was at its peak, eh? <laughs> Is Mr. Vintage the 4chan of New Zealand? We have a second kind of troll, which is the hot take flag. People with, ooh, burning, the symbolism. This, this one really offends me, eh? Like, I'm real bad at maths, so, like, I'm actually the only Asian in the country to have failed fourth form maths i mean some of these hot takes would this is as close to literal as you can get i don't even know what they're talking about no (laughs) so the hot take flags are like a pretentious troll yeah yeah totally maybe a little bit smarter than a troll a troll with the high school education A few of the designs came to resemble corporate logos. I think if you have a look at what we've got here. It's in New Zealand, is it? Is it? Yes. (laughs) Yes, it is in New Zealand. That pretty much is our flag. Like, it makes just as much sense to me to make that the flag. I mean, a flag's a kind of identity brand. Mm. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, Fonterra are bad, eh? Is that right? Uh, no, that's wrong, Dave. Fonterra are good. Okay, And good. the foundation of this nation. Let's make that the flag. Done. It's the Google Chrome sign, is it? Yeah, it looks like someone's tried to kill it. <laughs> There's six bullet holes. Dave, what's your take on the multiple flags? These are the flags with many flags inside of them. From a like actual serious point of view, it's a bit too busy for me. Too much going on. So this is essentially the English flag plus four of our own? It looks to be that way, yeah. No one said no to any ideas when they were thinking about this flag. It's difficult to know why people are going for the multiple flags. Do they just have a really clear picture of national identity? I don't know, man. (laughs) Wow. Whoa. (laughs) Jesus. I mean, this is the apex. Uh, Sorry, the nadir. There's a class of flag that's moldy inspired but clearly designed by Pakeha people. Oh, but they're real serious, eh? Damn, that's like some Photoshop. It's too fancy. It's so fancy. It looks like fancy details. It's yeah, it's kinda like um I'm I'm white, but I've also met a Maori. I have no opinion on this one, eh? I like this one though, because it's my mum and my dad. <laughs> Tena Kordua. It's your current relationship. <laughs> ah, uh, Gordon Walters. Yeah. I don't. Oh, still, still I just, with it. I mean, yeah. we had to copy his like art in fifth form. So did these people. <laughs> a flag is a picture, so it seems strange to put words on it. You're meant to recognize it if you don't read English. This one here, with literally just our flag plus New Zealand, just made me laugh out loud. And I love that somebody, there's someone out there that thinks this is acceptable. <laughs> like, I don't get the writing, it's like they're trying to do a box logo, like they think they're supreme. <laughs> We're not on the streetwear game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dave, we've been through all the submissions, which is your favourite one? Somebody just combined our flag with the Argentinian flag? Argentinian flag? I thought that was amazing. That's my favourite. That's very pro rugby. Mm. <laughs> It's kind of like, these are the two things I know about, so here's what we're doing. 
What's your personal design for the flag? Um, I just think we should have a Warriors flag. The NRL New yep. Zealand Warriors? Yep, Correct. New Zealand team. Correct. Lucy, which is your favourite flag from the submissions? My design. I made a break the internet flag. There we are, the best and not so best of the flag submissions. These flag designs will be sticking around until September when the government panel decides which they like the best. The old flag and new flag showdown won't happen till March 16 though, so take your time. Thanks for watching and thanks to New Zealand on air. Kakite. See you. Later.